My name is Lieutenant Aldo Rain, and I'm putting together a special team. And I need me eight soldiers. Eight Jewish American soldiers. Wait, dude, we're, we're not American. I didn't sign up for this. Now, y'all might have heard rumors about the Armada happening soon. Wait, what rumors? Didn't you hear about camp this year? We're gonna be dropped into France, dressed as civilians. France? Shh! Is he joking? Sound good? Yes, sir! Gentlemen, we have selected you three to come on camp this year. <laughs> That's great news. That's great. Yeah. Yes, but you all have to leave rock sessions. Seven times a day? Huh. Yeah, it is weird. And I've already written your contract on this serviette. It says, JS Camp 2012. The good news is, camp starts in two weeks. Oh, no, uh, officer. That's just impossible. No, we need to be in L.A. tomorrow for a wedding. But Brad, how can you not come on camp? I love you, and you stole my heart. We didn't steal anything. Um, we found it. Yeah, if anything, we deserve a reward or something, like a trophy. Either way, are you guys coming on camp? Yeah, I want you on this year's camp. We're thinking that you could put fear and um, excitement into Jewish studies camp this year. What do you reckon? And why do you want to kill me? <laughs> oh, Batman! I don't want to kill you. Not this time. Kidding. We want to just have you on camp. You want me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I want to do Batman. Here I am. make it here today. I wanted to talk to you about Jewish Studies Camp. Now, I know you had a question about Army Nights. Well, actually, it was about something you were wearing around your neck at the wedding. It was a symbol. Oh, I thought you wanted to talk about Army Night. You mean this necklace? That, exactly. What we wondered is, what is it? It's a symbol of authority known as the Whitmont. The what? The what? The Whitmont. Each mother be wearing one as a sign of their allegiance to Rabbi Whitmont. I used to eat my breakfast. I love my breakfast. Cocoa Pops, Wheat Bix, Captain Crunch. Actually, you know what the truth is? What truth? I love all types of breakfast. Even if there wasn't such a thing as spoons. There is no spoon? No, I'm saying if there were no such thing as spoons, I would still eat breakfast. What are you doing? That's my spoon! Look, I, uh, brought these for you to... Give to the kids when you have a chance. You are talking about on Jewish studies camp. You're not here for the kids, are you? I'm just doing what I know. I'm doing what you taught me. The only thing we taught you was how to sing out of a car. No, you taught me to navigate people's minds, but after what happened, there weren't a whole lot of legitimate ways for me to use that skill. All you have to do is go home and practice. I think I found a way home. Who's going to help you get home? Who will take up that job? It's a job for some very, very powerful people. <gasps> Israelis! Now before we do this, let's go over the ground rules. 
Rule number one. No touching of the hair or face. Of course. And that's it. Now let's do this. Wait, what are we doing here? This is my training. Didn't you check your Facebook news feed? No. I didn't sign up for this. You're coming on Jewish study scam. <laughs> are you are you serious? Yeah, we're serious. Camp starts in two weeks. Have you packed a sleeping bag? I don't have one, so. I don't believe it. He hasn't got a sleeping bag. What about a toothbrush? Do you have one? I don't think so. Wait, so what are you bringing to camp? I don't think he's ready for camp. Are you at least excited? Really feel anything. We need him to feel something. What about Matus Yo? Do you like his music? I love his music. You know he shaved his beard off, right? <clears throat> no. Okay, just make sure you're ready for camp, okay? Do you understand him? I understand. Can you handle the moment? Yeah, I can handle the moment. Go again, son! quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Cam has never been that crazy. I ran a Ruach session. I saw that. <laughs>